Hi, my name is Cristina Garza, and my children and I have been coming here to City Church for about a year and a half now, and I am a member of the praise and worship team. Uh, our world changed drastically three years ago with the passing of my husband of 21 years. He was a very special person to us and to all of his friends. Um, laughter and, and love were his two best qualities. And uh, as a father, he was, he was a very present dad, very present in all of their activities and present when they needed prayer before bed. He was always there and he, I believe my kids or our children were his most prized possessions. As a husband, um, he was a man that God created to love me and I will forever hold our love story very dear in my heart. One Sunday morning as um, we were, he was getting ready for bed, he, for church, I'm sorry, he all of a sudden just passed out and never woke up. This was the life of, the love of my life. And he was gone instantly. Our lives changed dramatically in one instant. And it happened so fast that we couldn't even bear the thought and we were in such a shock that we could barely function. All I could do was just demand answers from God and ask why, why would you take uh, such a man that would serve you so faithfully. Why would you take the love of my life? Why would you take somebody that cared so much for his family? Why not somebody else? Why not, why not somebody that doesn't even serve you or, or know you? And all of these questions were, I would just bombard God with all of these questions and sadly the answers never came. The more I demanded answers from God, the farther away I would fall. The farther away I fell from God, the more I became depressed until I ended up in a very, very dark place. I felt like I was stuck between death and life and just barely surviving. The only thing that would keep me waking up in the morning was my children, because I knew they needed me. The hardest part was that God was very silent. I did not hear his voice. I could not pray, I could not talk to him. I would try to read the word and I couldn't get anywhere until one day I ran into the scripture of Psalm 139 and the psalmist in this scripture says, where, where would I go away from you? If I go to the tallest mountain, there you are. If I go to the depths of the sea, there you are. If I go, um, you know, to the extreme, there you are, God. And then he continues to say that if he was in the darkest place, darkness is nothing to God because he is the light. And in that instant when I read that scripture, all of a sudden I was face to face with God. He was looking at me with his loving eyes. And all of a sudden it was dark no more. It was that darkness was not there anymore. All of a sudden, I was aware that he, God was present. His presence all of a sudden just gave me hope. I knew that if he was there, that he could see my heart and he could see my pain. 
And I believe that in that instant, God started a reconciliation between him and I and um, healing process, restoration. Now I started seeing things more clear, with more clarity. My mind was not foggy anymore. I didn't feel as depressed. I didn't feel as dead anymore. I, I started feeling what life felt like. I remember that we were invited to City Church and we came and all I could do at that point was cry during the praise and worship. I couldn't sing, I couldn't even word out anything. It was just healing tears rolling down my face. Soon after that, Jordan set up a date for auditions for the praise and worship team. And I auditioned and I signed up. And the day of the auditions, Jordan was, uh, he said a prayer from the altar for all of those that were gonna uh, audition that night. And I remember that at the same time in my seat, I was having a different type of a conversation between me and, and God. See, in one of those very dark nights, I said or I thought um, that God doesn't deserve my service. He doesn't deserve me singing because look at what he has done to me. And so at that point, I apologized to God and I asked for forgiveness. And I asked God, I remember, would you take me back? Will you take me back as a worshiper? Will you let me love you and embrace you through songs? Will you bring my voice back to life? And immediately I, I felt his forgiveness upon me. And so what I want to say today is that that same power that resurrected Jesus from the grave is the same power that resurrected me and brought me back to life, brought me and my children back to life, brought the song back to life, because there is power in the voice of every person. There is power in our words. That same power is here today for anybody and anyone that wishes to have it. All you have to do is to surrender your life before God and he will make the change, not only here on earth, but eternally in heaven.